Hello, my name is Tom Catanzaro. I'm the youth director, uh, youth and young adult director, minister here at First Southern Baptist Church in Hemet, California. And um, I just want to share with you for a minute my testimony. Uh, I am a Christian. I'm a follower of Jesus Christ. I believe that he is alive from the dead. I believe that he is God incarnate in the flesh. He came to this planet to die for human sin, to become the basis by which God could forgive us, all of us, any of us who would come to him. And uh, I just want to tell you how I arrived to that at that conclusion. Uh, first of all, I was raised in Hemet. I spent most of my life here. I lived a few other places, but my childhood um, was here. And it was not a religious upbringing at all. And uh, I remember believing in God, but just not really knowing who he was. I had sort of a, a, a genie approach. I thought maybe, you know, if I, uh, if I just, you know, if, if, if I could please him in some way by the things that I did or um, that he might give me the things that I want in life. Uh, I had some awareness, but nobody really told me who God was or that God could even really be known. And uh, so as I grew up, I, I kept, um, uh, you know, I, I kept filtering my reality through those, through that understanding of who God was. And uh, my early exposure to Christians was not very good. Um, and again, nobody really was specifically telling me about Jesus Christ. I'd never heard the gospel, uh, the message that Christ came into the world to die for sinners. Um, so as a result uh, of living a life without God, I became a drug addict um, through some friends in high school. Um, I was seeing some success as a musician and um, I was winning competitions and getting into places um, that were seeming to propel me into a direction career-wise and um, I became really reckless. Um, very early on. So I graduated from high school and I went to study music in New York City and um, as wonderful as that sounds everything just got worse. I still didn't have Christ. I was making more and more mistakes as time was going on and eventually uh, these hard drug addictions uh, were catching up to me and just sucking the life out of me and caused me to basically abandoned my family, <clears throat> um, most of my close friends who were not drug addicts, um, people that loved me, I just, I just left it all behind chasing this, this feeling, this high, constantly, and it was, it was never as good as the first time, but I kept chasing it. When I was 19, I uh, finally came home from New York City, uh, bruised and beaten and battered, and um, I decided for the first time uh, at age 20 to look into spiritual things because I was never really exposed to them. I didn't look into them for myself. And so I started trying different churches and wondering if maybe the answer was in church or a religion. Uh, I just figured I would, I would look into it. Well, uh, one of my employers of the many jobs I had at that time uh, offered for several months to take me to church. They would come pick me up at 7 a.m. and they would take me. I wouldn't have to drive. I would just go. Uh, so uh, after uh, a while of, of these addictions just getting, just wearing me down, I took them up on the offer. And they took me every Sunday for about a year. This church was different than most of the other churches I had visited. I had visited a Catholic church, I visited a Lutheran church, I visited a Mormon temple. I was looking everywhere I knew. I would had friends that went to all these different places. Um, this church, the pastor would get up every Sunday and he would read through the Word of God, through the Bible. He would tell me that it was the Word of God and he would speak about Jesus and he would put things in context uh, so as to give an, uh, 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 an authentic understanding of what it meant at that time, but then he would also bring the principles out 
uh, that were being taught and relate them to this time. And I'd never seen the Bible handled like that. I didn't even know that it was possible to do that. So, somehow it was becoming more and more real to me that Jesus existed, um, that this, it was not easy to get to do away with this claim that he was risen from the dead. So, um, one day, and I remember the day, it was August 7th, 2005. I went back to that church after a really terrible drug binge um, that almost took my life. I went back to that church, and uh, as the pastor gave the gospel message, he gave an invitation, and as people were going up, I didn't even have the will to, to go up and, and say a prayer, but in my heart, I just broke down and finally, and I wept, and I, and I cried out to Jesus Christ in my heart, and uh, I can't even begin to describe the feeling I had. But it was like God entered in. Uh, God invaded my life. Uh, it was like a feeling of electricity. Uh, I had tunnel vision. I was uh, just, it was an amazing peace that washed, washed over me. Uh, my mind was completely renewed. It was, it was all of these terrible thoughts and obsessive thoughts and uh, they were filtered out somehow and I walked out of that church and and I basically um, reasoned with myself that I did not need to go back to the drugs. People had urged me to go to programs and I don't, you know, the, the program is a good thing uh, but for whatever reason God had completely removed the desire to do drugs from my body in an instant of time and I did not go back to hard drugs since that day um, I wish I could say I, I walked perfectly after that day but uh, uh, I did go back into the world uh, for a couple years uh, I did fight now that I knew Jesus I, I, I fought with the big questions about suffering and, and, and the many different things, you know, the questions about how the Bible relates to life and the questions about uh, Jesus, Jesus' claim to be the only way to God. And uh, I fought a real spiritual battle, uh, mostly because I was without a mentor, I think. Uh, I didn't have anybody who took me under their wing and taught me the basics of the faith and, and give me a foundation. I was just sort of out on my own. So... Regardless of all of that, uh, God pursued me. He brought me back to himself. Um, he opened the door for me to go to Bible college. And uh, I got a good, solid biblical foundation. Uh, I took many classes on ministry. And um, then he opened the door to this church, First Southern Baptist Church. Um, and I love this church. I love the people here. I love the pastor. Um, I met my wife at this church through another set of incredible circumstances, and now I have we have our first daughter. We have a home in Hemet, and uh, we we sustain a, a full time ministry at this church to young people, uh, basically junior high up to age thirty. It's a pretty big scope, and um, I'm just absolutely grateful for everything that God has done. And now He gives me the opportunity to tell other people about Him, to answer those questions that I had to comfort people who are struggling with the same things that I have struggled with but no longer struggle with because God has intervened in the situation. So uh, that, that's my testimony. That is what I've seen, what I've heard, um, what I've understood, and, and that's what I'm sharing. It's, uh, it's not just wishful thinking. Um, it was a true miracle how God delivered me from drug addiction. And there have been many other miracles since uh, in many different ways. And that's the life I live now. That's, that's my story. Um, I think of the hymn, Blessed Assurance, Jesus is mine. Oh, what a foretaste of glory divine. Perfect salvation. Um, <laughs> I forget it, but the, the verses. Uh, this is my story. This is my song. Praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story. This is my song. Praising my Savior all the day long. That's really the, the statement of my life. Uh, just that Jesus has saved me, and he can do that for you too. 
if you trust Him and you turn from your sin, you put your faith in Him. Um, I hope you would do that. I hope you would see what He could do with, with humble trust and obedience. It will change your life. God bless you. <clears throat>